Crazy. Beating with Sherry. Mm -hmm. I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And the reason why I said that that way, and the reason why I was even saying, like, yeah, I'm going to capture this because I just realized something. And I just asked you, like, are you beating? I um, mean, like, yeah. And I just realized that beating, beating, this is, this is definitely in, in this whole, like, vein, you know. So that immediately hit me because what do you okay beating beating there is, is taking beads and one by one you know building a necklace mm -hmm. building a, a you know bead waist beads in this case um yeah and you think about that one by one thing you're building one increment at a time i think that that's something that you can use um because beading is not only something that you can look at literally, but you can also look at it metaphorically too. Right. You know, you could be beating your life together in different ways. I think you should, yeah, think like, like keep that in your back pocket because beating with Sherry, mm -hmm. beating with Sherry is, 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 is where is that? Is where is that? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah, this works much better. I'm super happy. So this is the um, stretch cord that I was buying yesterday when we were talking because the okay. other one was too big, but I, I can't even, like, these are so small that my finger over it mm -hmm. won't even show you how small these beads are. So wait, let me show right. you this way. Can you see? Okay. Yeah, I can see them. They're oh, yeah, see. Tiny. They are tiny. So, they're, those um, ones, they're those ones you don't want to, you don't want the waste because you'd be picking them up for three hours. For three hours. <laughs> and the only way to get them up is the vacuum. The only right. Way. So, um, but is I there such to... thing as a bead? Is there such thing as a bead vacuum? <laughs> Man, not right. that I know of, but you know, I'm still new to this, so I can't even tell you. Okay, well, here's 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 the beautiful part about you being new to this. Um, figure out what, do some research and document this process in a very mm -hmm. simple and easy way. Um, Figure out what's the most convenient little vac out there. Mm -hmm. And then that's the vac that you buy and that you endorse for right. when, you, when you knock your beads over. Because <laughs> everybody going to knock their beads over. At some everybody. Point. Everybody. So, again, so boom. And again, remember, top, top down, all of these ingredients fit in one category. That, life, that category is lifestyle. For sure. I just mm -hmm. finished taking the pictures um, of all of my uh, craft store haul yesterday. Love it. And I did a live this morning um, in the group, not on my yeah, page, yeah. unfortunately, but I did a, a live stop, uh, live today. Um, okay. A beating yeah. live? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was um, more about my haul. Your haul? Like what I, yeah. So, you know, they call it like I learned this from my 22 year old. They're like, oh, my haul at Good Goodwill. So H-A-U-L, like all the stuff that they were oh, able to buy. Got you, got you, okay. Oh, sweet. So you talked yeah, so, about your, your haul, your bead haul yesterday? Yeah, my craft store haul. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. um, yeah, this is be gonna be pretty. Right. See it? Yes, that is beautiful. What is Sherry? What what does it mean? What what's the first thing that comes to mind if if you're beating with Sherry? But it's talking about putting your your the beads of your life together one one bead oh. at a time. Yeah. So one bead at a time at this point in my life is really looking like intentionally reflecting on where I've been and where I want to go. And then right. tying that into where I am right now. Um, I'm not even the same person I was. I can say literally I'm not the same person I was three years ago, but I'm definitely not the same person I was 20 years ago, you know, and yeah. um, what that growth and I'm, and, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but just looking at what uh, my thinking more so than mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. Um, you know, so for example, a good example of that is now I feel more comfortable talking about like working and, and walking in my spiritual gifts. So as a late, like I've always known that I would, that I could see things, 
and I think I told you about this before, like I had dreams and I, and I would have dreams and then they would happen. And it used to yeah. freak me out as a kid. It would right. freak me the hell out because right. I didn't know what it was. I didn't understand it. And I was scared to tell anybody. Um, right. And then I told like a few of my friends, you know, when it happened and, and in particular, when one of my friends had an accident that I dreamt about, fortunately, in the, in the dream, I woke up too soon and I thought he died, but in real life, he didn't die, but he did have mm -hmm. the exact accident I dreamt about, right? right? And as of late, I've been really working on, um, I guess, honing in on my abilities, right? And, and, and seeing things and, and because I think they are God given talents, right? Um, especially for anybody who's listening to this and is into the Bible, you know, we've more or less been taught like, oh, that's witchcraft. But mm -hmm. the Bible says that we would do miracles as Jesus did in greater and mm -hmm. that we all have gifts. So anything that we have is a gift because it was created with that in mind. But the question is, how do you use it? Are you using it for good or are you using it for bad, right? Yeah. And that's what makes it witchcraft. If, if you wanna look at it in that perspective, I also no longer look at that perspective, but such is life. Right. So, <laughs> as, I, as I was gonna say, I did too until, except for the fact that now I know that witchcraft is not actually evil. And when you talk to Wiccans, you realize they're like, the fuck like yeah we're not evil people with that okay yet another story yeah. yet another but i get what you're saying you know um yeah. from a perspective of just using your you know using what you have for good you know and and that kind of thing and so you know i'm completely agree with you, agreement with you so i got yeah. I, I actually have a I, I have something okay do you possibly have 12 dollars that you can spare of course okay so if you can then um yeah this 12 dollars is about to be your best investment you know? <laughs> all right here's why mm -hmm. because see that dollar right there what the fuck? what that, and all are you serious yeah i i, I if I wasn't serious, my damn, if I'm not, my computer is lying to me. Google is lying to me. GoDaddy's lying. Can we get it for two years? Can I like buy oh, yeah. it or for two years or it's, something like it, that? It, it's your world. You could, you could have it. You could, it's your world. You could, you could have it for three years and, and add, and add cheese on that. Like you can, <laughs> yes, 100%. Okay. It, All right. That's what's up. I'm going to send you some moolah for that. Check this out. You ready for this next beautiful thing? Oh, you better uh -huh. check this out. Why it's great. This is GoDaddy. Okay. Why it's great. First thing, men's is a high valuable keyword that has an average price of $2,351. Wow. Now, the other reason why I say that's a that's a win is because, as we know, the reason why the, the value is so high is because it's such a common word that's searched. Right. And because it's such a word that's a common word that's searched, that means that you actually, <clears throat> that means that this and you with this actually have a high chance of people not only coming across it on purpose, because of the fact that it's so straightforward, it is um, this. It's easy to remember. It is no crazy spellings. It's straight to the point. Um, right, and it's a dot com. Because if you have to get an off extension, sometimes people forget. Mm -hmm. It's a dot com, and so not only are people going to be coming here intentionally, but also unintentionally because men's is a keyword that searched so high. And then when you add that all together with a woman that knows not only what I'm talking about, but even her mind is even going farther down the, the funnel and down the path. Cause yep. You have what I was saying. I love it. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yay. <laughs> thank you, Aaron. <laughs> oh Look at you. You got me being a whole business woman up over here. Old businesswoman, right? <laughs> Twelve dollars, 
And, you know, I've done so many searches of different um, domain names and even come up with some cool domain names. You know, it's one of those things that is kind of, I guess you can say, developing into like a new, a new little side thing where I'll just think of names that come to mind and I'll just search for the domain name. And this will, and I'm getting ready to start utilizing this even more, where it's just for pointing a domain to a particular, you know, a particular thing. Mm. Oh, you can't hear me? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Wait a minute. You know, it's interesting.